public office over 25 years. I'm not going to give that to him. And my record says that. But tonight, Robert Ficano does find himself in a similar predicament as the former Detroit mayor. He once had a reputation for clean politics and transparency in government. 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis joins us now with a look at how all of that has now changed. Carolyn and Stephen, it seems Ficano just can't get away from the cameras fast enough these days, but it hasn't always been that way. Those close to Ficano say he's not the same man they used to know. The severance should not have been paid. I mean, the bottom line is it should not have been paid. This story didn't start with a severance payment, an undated letter, or even Turkia Mullen. It started almost 10 years ago when Bob Ficano took the oath of office. I, Robert A. Ficano. After almost 20 years as sheriff, Bob Ficano was elected as the third Wayne County executive. He promised to clean up the mess that his predecessor, Ed McNamara, left behind. I say it's a new day in Wayne County and a fresh new start. Ficano began his administration with an impressive and refreshing approach to government. Appointees even had to sign ethics disclosure forms, banning political work on county time and hustling vendors for campaign donations. So, I mean, it was, it was intense. It was all about being above board. Ficano continued to be the open and accessible politician he'd been for almost 20 years. But by the middle of his first term, multiple former and current county insiders say the tone and tenor of the administration began to change. When it appeared to happen is when he forgot about what he was elected for. When he started playing a little bit more politics, when he started taking plays out of the McNamara administration playbook. As Action News reported earlier this year, Ficano's office has been accused by department heads and others of hiding his own appointees and other budgets. The question would be asked, why are these people on our budget? The response would be, um, well, that's where um, we need to put them, so, you know, really don't worry about that. And then came Ficano's biggest controversy of all, news of Mullen's $200,000 payout. It only led to more revelations about a county that was spending money like it was the good old days. A little known health benefit that gave 61 appointees and their family members free health care for life. Up to six months pay for appointees who left the county in April. And an unheard of 401k program that gave appointees $5 for every $1 they put toward their investment. How can you keep this 5 to 1 match? And they looked at me like, are you enjoying the 5 to 1 match? I'm like, yeah. And shut up. And most troubling of all, say source after source, is how Ficano gave up control of his own position. If there's going to be any downfall, I think it's going to come from that. Uh, his staff taking advantage of a situation where no one was watching him. Where sources say Ficano changed the most through the years was his push towards secrecy. It's a change they attribute to his deputy, Azam Elder. Said one former county insider, the approach to the media became an us versus them approach. Ficano declined to talk to Seven Action News for this report and that says a lot there was a time not long ago when he would never turn down an interview it's just another example sources say of how Ficano has let others change his administration this is an abject lesson in bad government how government can go awry if the, the head takes his eye off the ball this did not have to happen Ficano says he's confident nothing will come of the FBI investigation. He says he knows he's done nothing wrong. All right, thanks a lot, Scott. This story, of course, is far from over. A special committee of the Wayne County Commission meets tomorrow. They're going to be talking about how this severance scandal unfolded and how to make sure it never happens again. And on Friday, the Wayne County Board of Elections gets a look at the language for the petition to recall Robert Ficano. We're still waiting to hear the fate of the suspended county employees. And, of course, there's that ongoing FBI investigation. And you can certainly follow this story from the very beginning at WXYZ.com and click the link, Wayne County Confidential. The 7 Action News investigators broke this story. You can bet we'll be there every step of the way taking action for you and holding public officials accountable. Thank you so much for joining us.